For today's video, we'll be talking about Grinner Reagent. For this, we would have a structure that has a ketone on it, so we would always start with a ketone. And this reactant that we'll be using would be the Grinner Reagent, so a carbon, CH3, with MgBr, magnesium brom bromine. So if you see this, uh, MgBr, that means we're using Grinner Reagent. So our product for this would have the same structure, but take it off, add a carbon, and OH. So remove the ketone. You put an OH and an added carbon because of CH3 in the reactant. Let's do another example here. Again, we have a structure like this. It has a ketone. Okay. So we now will use, let's use uh, CH3 MGBR. Okay. So we're adding one carbon and then also water. So for this, we remove this, remove the ketone and add the alcohol and the carbon where the ketone was at. On the carbon where the ketone was at. And that's all we have to do. Let's try another example, but this time let's use a different reactant. Now we see another two, we see two oxygens in here, right? We have a ketone and that, that's an ester, right? Let's use excess CH3, CH2, CH2, MGBR. So, so we're adding two, three carbons, three carbons. Now with water. So we have two, I'll show the mechanism for this later. But uh, let's do the product for this particular product. So we have two oxygens here. We're using excess. So that means we're going to add three carbons extra, right? So we got to split here. We got to need to have, we need to split in half. For this. So we have one, two, three. We have excess. Let's see the product, right? See, we draw the original. Oh, well, actually, no, I drew three carbons where the ketone was at. We'll add the OH to this, and then I add the other three carbons, and then also plus the other half OH. We don't add no carbons. We don't. We do not add any carbons to this other half. I'll show the mechanism later for this. Let's try the mechanism for this. We have this structure right here, reacting with our Grinner reagent CH three MgBr with water also. So in this case, the CH3 has a negative charge and attacks the carbon with a double bond um, of oxygen Z, and it gives us electrons to oxygen. Now we have oxygen with a negative charge, and also that carbon is added there. Oxygen with negative charge. Water comes in in this case to deprotonate that oxygen, and so it adds OH to it. So the mechanism is very simple, and that is it for this mechanism, for this pro uh, problem. But also we have a byproduct, this, not, this is not important, a byproduct of OH and also MGBR. This is not important, this is a side note, but this is the full answer for it. Let's try the mechanism for the excess CH3, CH2, CH2, BR, MGBR with water. We have the two oxygen here, alright, so I said excess. So that means we're going to use it more than once. So most likely we're going to use it twice. So the first things first, um, the CH3, CH2, CH2 comes in with a negative charge. The carbon chain attacks the carbon or the uh, oxygen at with the double bond connected to it. Gives also electrons. So we just we added three carbons to it, right? So one. Two and three. We'll also oxygen with a negative charge. Now, in this case, it forms a double bond and kicks off the other half of the structure of the product that we're going to get. So, it kicks it off like that, makes a double bond. So, in this case, now it looks normal where we started before, plus the other half. Okay, now we set excess, right? So, let's use it again. So a carbon chain comes in again, attacks the carbon where the double one of the oxygen is at, and kicks, uh, makes it a single bond, gives off the electrons to oxygen. So we added another carbon chain. So we have a total of three, right? Negative charge. Now we have our final reactant, which is water. In this case, comes in to deprotonate both of the oxygens that they have a uh, negative charge on.
they protonates it, both of them, okay? In this case, we get our final product, starting with the first half of this OH, plus the other half of our product. And this is our final answer for this.